This is Paul. He wants to create his own synth patches, but he doesn't know much about synthesis. Let's help Paul to understand the basis of synth sound creation. Most forms of sound synthesis follow three stages. Tone generation, sound shaping, volume adjustment. In other words, oscillator, filter, amplifier. The oscillator produces the basic sound of a synth. This raw sound is usually a clean waveform with different shapes, for example a sine, saw, triangle or square. This signal can be adjusted in its amplitude and pitch. A sine wave is very smooth and only contains of one simple frequency. It is often used to create sub-bass fundamentals without changing the sound too much. Square waves produce more computer noise sounds, but can also sound very smooth in lower pitches. A triangle is just one step between a sine and a square wave. The saw wave is the most common waveform used to create trans-style leads, bass lines and effects. It sounds very full, bright and aggressive. Besides these very basic waveforms, there is a huge variety of other options, especially in modern synths. It is even possible to create or sample your own waveforms. But let's keep it simple for the moment and move on to the filter section. The filter section is responsible to define the character of a sound. It mainly takes away parts of the signal. For example, the low pass filter allows low frequency to pass through, while high frequency are cut off at an adjusted cutoff frequency. This is often used to create synth bass lines. High pass filters do the opposite. And if you combine these two filter types, you get another type of filter, the band pass. This already sounds like a trans style lead. In most modern synths, you'll find a variety of creative filter shapes that make filtering even more creative. At the end, the amplifier determines the final power output of the signal. Of course, there are more stages and many ways to manipulate the sound to make it more interesting and individual. Please like and subscribe to my channel and stay tuned for more Psytrance production related videos. Also check my own Psytrance production and mastering service that you can find in the description.